The New Patriotic Party in the Ayawasu East constituency is confident of flipping the seat from the NDC in the upcoming 2024 polls. Now, though the NDC has always won the seat, the NPP says its candidate identifies with constituents and that will make the change possible. In a former report, Channel One News' Hansen Ajuman looks at how political activities are shaping up in the constituency. The Ayawasu East constituency is one of NDC's evergreen constituencies in the Greater Accra region. The constituency is made up of communities like Nima and Kanda. It accommodates the private residence of President Anado Dankwe Kufuado and also houses the residence of Vice President Dr. Mamudu Baumia. This has, however, never persuaded the constituency to vote the other way. Here, in this part, of our constituency, here is normally NDC. Here, Nima, Ayawaso East, is a strong NDC base. For the presidential elections, the NDC has won in all elections except for the 2000 polls, where former President Kufo led with 48.4% of the votes against lead President Mills' 44.0%. The NDC has, however, won with a minimum of 56.3% and a maximum of 63.4%. With the parliamentary elections, however, the NDC has only won polls since 1992. Supporters believe the situation will be the same in the 2024 polls. It's our seat. We are going to retain it. Is there anything that can be done by the NPP that you fear if they do? the NDC may lose the presidential or the parliamentary in this country. They bring a lot of candidates and we sweep them on. They can't, they can't do anything. They can't do anything for us. That's why we are going for Mama Nazaturi and John Dramani Mahama, inshallah. For persons like these, their resolve to vote for the NDC is strengthened with the current challenges facing the country. The way I'm serving now, I'm going to go <laughs> oh, see, oh, see, oh, see. So they talk of free SHS, they talk about making life comfortable through that digitization. That is all they have. And any time you want to argue about life in this country, the first thing they will mention is free SHS. And what benefit are they that? The new patriotic party, however, enjoys some level of support within the constituency. These supporters strongly believe that the incumbent government cannot be blamed for the current economic challenges. Not only do they believe that the NPP's Dr. Baumia will win the 2024 polls, they are also confident that their parliamentary candidate will emerge victorious. Bebre, you say NDC, no. Omo na omo win the biya ba. Ejuma if you say NDC, ye ma ye no. Enye no na omo wa ye ama ye. Inti yesu ye pesa ye try ye candidate na ye di ne iba no. Onu su ye ni ma boy. Inti ye try onu su. The NDC is being represented by the incumbent member of parliament, Naza Mahama, who is making a fourth bid at the seat. The NDC in the constituency, however, believe that with their candidate, they only need to be concerned about the gap with which they win the 2024 polls. I can promise you that we are going, not retain, we are going to increase the vote market today. We are increasing uh, for the percentage. Maybe next week I'll call you again and give you the percentage for you to put it on air. I'm sure of it. When my IT director finishes groundwork and everything, I'll give you the percentage. Retain is no any. We are talking of the percentage, the increase of the vote for retaining the. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. The NPP's candidate Zakraman, however, believes his ties with the constituency. Will change the dynamics. 
the difference between us and NDC is just around 8,000. And the people have been yearning for uh, one of their own, someone who hails from this constituency, someone who grew up with them, someone who attended the same basic school and Arabic school with them. You know, someone who basically grew up with them, and they see that in me, and they thought that I am, I am the future. They he also believes that his policies resonate with constituents. The issues that most of the youths have been talking about here is we do not have a secondary school of our own. Um, I am in serious talks with the Assembly and Ministry of Education to see how best uh, at least uh, there would be uh, would construct a senior secondary school in this constituency, which is also ongoing. To further convince constituents, the NPP has initiated what they describe as a door-to-door -door campaign to get a message to constituents. What is the problem? The problem is one of the MP in the Bay a lobby in negotiate development my community. Some of the Parliament, at least the Africa came again my community. Meanwhile, the National Democratic Congress has also announced efforts to aggressively campaign ahead of the 2024 general election. I don't believe in big rallies, organized people, no, no. I believe in house to house. Send your message. Tell the people what you are going to do, what your MP is going to continue. The MP is going to continue what he has been doing. As expected, both political parties are hopeful of winning the Ayawasu East constituency. The NPP, who have never won it before, says they are willing to do what has never been done. Reporting for Channel One News, Hansen Ajeman.